guys! Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to show you how I'm going to change the can lights up in the ceiling into beautiful pendant lights. It just takes a very simple converter kit and I can just do it myself. So hit subscribe and like this video if it's helpful and let's get going. Okay, so first things first, make sure your electricity is off. Um, I tested it, I asked my husband to test it, and then I used a voltage detector, so I triple checked it. And then you can go ahead, remove your can light after you make sure no electricity is going through it. And then I began to follow the steps on the converter kit. I got all the pieces out, read the instructions several times just to make sure I understood the different pieces, um, their purpose, the order of installation. Um, and you have to make sure you use the screws that come with the converter kit because they're, um, they're a special kind and they're made to go directly into the metal can. Um, you're not, if you use other screws, it can compromise um, the weight bearingness of the screws and the whole element that you're installing here. You'll also want to keep in mind that um, our house is about a year and a half old at this point. And, um, and our state may have different building codes than yours. Our wires might be different colors. Um, things may look different. And so I'm not doing this video so that you can just copy step by step. I merely want to show that um, this is a DIY process if you feel like you can do it and you feel safe about it. Otherwise, you want to make sure you hire a professional. Um, I also wanted to save money by not hiring uh, a drywaller to fix <clears throat> the um, sheetrock along the ceiling, so I used a, a goof ring or an oops ring. Um, they're called different things. Once you have the converter kit um, installed properly and it's ready to receive the light, then I went ahead and opened up my pendant light. And uh, the pendant light was super long so I had to measure and make sure um, it was going to clear the doorways that opened and so I had to go ahead and um, mark the different wires the positive and the negative I had to remove some of the chain and some of the the neutral wire so um, that just takes a second and I did it to both pendants so that they both hang at the same distance um, this part's really easy and I just made sure that my light was my pendant light was ready to go so that I didn't have to mess with it when the time came. Okay, so once your pendant light is ready to be hung and the wires are trimmed and ready to go, um, that's when some people uh, may feel comfortable hiring uh, an electrician. Um, I felt comfortable attaching the negative and positive wires, the ground wire, and um, tightening it all up and making sure that it wasn't going to fall down once I walked away. So um, I just followed the instructions on the converter kit and my pendant light. Every light fixture is going to be unique and a little bit different depending on the weight. Um, make sure you check the weight of your pendant light so that you know that the converter kit can handle it. Um, my converter kit, I believe, is 50 pound weight limit, which um, was no problem because this pendant light is relatively light with just a glass dome and a little bit of metal and it's a single bulb. So um, one other consideration though is if you're looking for a pendant light or light fixture to give off a lot of light, make sure that the fixture itself can receive the wattage uh, you know of bulb that you're looking for I just was looking to add a little bit of mood lighting um, I have a shower light I have vanity lights and so in a huge window so I had plenty of light I wanted something that dressed up the space added a little bit of um, ambient mood lighting so um, that's another thing to consider when you're picking out your light fixtures I'm going to leave links at the end of this um, video in the description so that you can see where I got all of my pieces, the converter kit, the oops ring, and my light fixture. Um, I love this oops ring because I 
customized um, the diameter inside and outside so that was really helpful and it's paintable so um, I didn't paint it because my ceiling's white and it was fine. Our master bathroom is a modern farmhouse style but these um, pendant lights they just really add and eventually I will coordinate um, the vanity lights with some brass ones to warm it up even more and just add some elegance to the space. I'm so happy with the way they turned out. Um, they add character and beauty to the space and I have a lot more ideas for this um, primary bathroom so make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow along with all my DIY home projects and decorating inspiration. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.